Okay, a little late. <clears throat> hey, once again, my name is Steve Jaguar, and this is another Beer Native Beer Review. I'm focusing on supermarkets for some reason because they just keep coming up and they keep rotating beers. This was a recommendation from a friend of mine, Jacob. So let's kick it off. Yeah, weird time at night. I'm starting a beer review at 1020. It's just how it worked out. Now the stars align, the stars align, the constellations have formed, and you and I uh, now and in the future will be reviewing a combination. Let's take a look at that. So I'd zoom in. By the Horns Brewing and Jiddler's Tipple. Both out of London. I never run into Jiddler's Tipple, ever. Uh, By the Horns, I have run into in the past. And we've got Quencher Cold IPA at 5.5%. Uh, what's a cold IPA? Good question. Another one of those IPA that's in the fridge. Cold IPA. They're claiming because they're highly filtering it. So I'm expecting something crystal clear. And they're also saying on the back, which, uh, well, you know what? You can probably read this for yourself. Let's, let's let this zoom in. That they're using lager yeast, if you can see that. What the doolally is going on with lager yeast? I don't know. But they're telling me Nelson Sovan, which I love, El Dorado and Simcoe. Uh, oodles of fruity goodness, gooseberry, melon, pineapple, plenty of tropical citrus and stone fruit. And you can see Surrey is the more precise location, not necessarily, um, not necessarily the. Hello, Mike. Oh, good to have you watching. Wow, you are astute. I didn't even like give any advance notice to doing this. It looks like my internet is being a pain in the backside. I don't think anything else is actually running on my computer right now. Which is a pain in the bum because it's like, why being a bit of a beast? I don't know. Nevertheless, we must power forward and hope for the best. Hope you can you can see what I'm doing. It's not so choppy or rubbish. Let's crack at. So the fact that you, they're using lager yeast and it's highly filtered, yet still calling it a quencher cold IPA makes me think that. It's just a hoppy lager. It's not really an IPA because it's not pale ale. But who am I to judge? Is it good? Let's find out. I have a wet, recently cleaned glass um, from Beerheads. So maybe it should pour pretty soft because, you know, it kind of lube the glass with water in advance. But does it look like a lager? Does it smell like a lager? If it, it is a duck, very bubbly, very yummy looking, frothy, sudsy head though, right? It looks like a lager. Let's give it a smell. And lager yeast has a very distinct smell, right? You know, a blind taste test, you're not going to smell a pale, smell a lager and not, and, and not be able to tell them apart. Maybe some of you have trouble. I would say I, if this was a, Beer sommelier test, this would be the easiest test ever. It smells like a lager. It does not smell hoppy. I don't smell oodles of anything. No pineapple, no stone fruit, none of that. But maybe it wasn't late hopped. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe it's not meant to have aroma. Maybe it's all in the palate. Let's give it a go. 5.5%. I haven't been drinking a lot of beer lately. So let's see. Uh, if you want to be specific, this was in the Lincoln Sainsbury's. It's not in the Grantham Sainsbury's. I don't know why the Grantham Sainsbury's largely sucks for beer. The Lincoln one is amazing. Not all Sainsbury's are the same. It is recovering. Having smelled it and thought, this is a super clear, this is a lager. But tasting it, they've done a good job. It's hoppy. Not hoppy in the same way that a, an IPA is hoppy. So I'm not getting pounds of resin, just a whole entire Christmas tree with a pine in my mouth, uh, or any kind of noticeable, not like the obvious way that you get 
gooseberry and passion fruit from certain hops. I'm not getting that at all. But I am getting it very subtly. Without being sweet, it's got kind of a sweetness that I would associate with those kind of flavors. And it's very hard to distinguish the specifics of it. It's really an interesting experiment to see what happens if you get really familiar with what hops taste and smell like when brewed is an actual IPA, and then try it brewed using lager yeast, essentially as a lager, it makes it a lager. It's just different. It's, an, it's a very nice hoppy lager. I think it's a little, I don't know why there's something wrong with my fridge. It's not as cold as I think I, I would have liked it to be. But I think, should we be in a heat wave or be warm and someone served this up to me, I'd be really happy with it. I don't necessarily think, it's a little deceptive that it's saying Quencher Stone IPA. If it was an IPL, I'd give it a pretty high rating as a, as a hoppy version of a hybrid kind of uh, beer drink. Beer drink? I don't know what I'm saying there. The libation. How about that? It's good. It's actually pretty good. Surprisingly so. It smells like a lager. It's got a, a, a nice little hoppy taste. I think I'm going to say I'm a fan of it. And if uh, just a little additional information, as you know, I always like to provide during the show, is who on earth are these people that we're buying beer from? This is by the Horns. You can see their style. Hop, Hopadelic, West End Pills, Cosmic Warrior. All in tiny, uh, tiny cans. Very London, you know, designed to be in shops. And then just over here, we've got Jiddler's Tipple. Pretty straightforward, right? Let's get rid of the menu so we can see what they look like. Definitely a certain style to what they're doing in visible cans. But again, nothing particularly adventurous. Now, Jiddler's Tipple is all about, and it says over here, the, the perfect session IPA and bad shirts, largely. So... Interesting that they've combined. I'm guessing they know each other because they're both in the same neck of the woods and they've decided to make something that is a good crack at the supermarket world at 5.5 in a big can. And yet not, neither of them seem to have the big cans on the site. I think they did a pretty good job, actually. So they could be very proud of what they've done. And they've cracked the supermarket world, which is near on impossible because it's very difficult to produce something at that kind of scale at that kind of price point and still pull off something that doesn't suck. All right. I'm going to end the beer review right there. I think if you like hoppy lagers that aren't as IPA-ish as you might think, that's a, that is definitely a winner. Nice work by the horns and Jiddler's tipple. Um, I'm going to be heading out to New Orleans, New Orleans. I don't know how to say it. I'm going to learn by going there. Maybe I'll do a beer review when I'm there next week. So keep tuning in. Won't be a supermarket review, but it'll be kind of a weird one. Until then, and until next time, keep drinking great beer. Supermarket beers are actually good. My name's Steve Jaguar. This has been a Bear Native Beer Review. Steve out.